It said, if you melt graphite with iron into molten metal, quench it, then pour in acid, you can make real diamonds. Mythbusters dumped graphite and iron into a furnace, cranked the heat up to 2,500 degrees, and held it there for half an hour, dreaming this might be the shortcut to instant riches. They plunged the metal into concentrated hydrochloric acid. The acid frothed and bubbled, turning the mixture into something that looked like pumpkin soup. Only when the iron was gone could they check for any trace of diamonds. Meanwhile, Carrie found a simpler trick online. Coat graphite with peanut butter, microwave it for an hour, and boom, diamonds on demand. Four microwaves later, she finally admitted defeat. Tori took a more scientific route, following a university formula. He mixed graphite and ferric nitrate in a pressure cooker, added a real diamond as a seed, and let it cook for 72 hours. Three days later, no diamonds, just burnt residue. But then, an industrial expert stepped in. In his lab, he sealed graphite, cobalt, and a secret chemical mix inside a metal cylinder, packed it into a wooden barrel of explosives, and detonated it, trying to recreate the heat and pressure of Earth's core. When the dust settled, they cracked open the chamber and, there were diamonds. Tiny, dull, industrial-grade ones. In the end, the myth was busted.